kids, sometimes when I look in my fridge, it looks pretty empty. Not much in there, definitely not enough. That happened in the Bible once too, but Jesus's friends weren't looking in the fridge, they were looking in their bags. And here's what happened. One day, a big crowd of people came to hear Jesus speak and they stayed until dinner time. But there were so many people, so many people that Jesus's friends didn't know how they were gonna feed everyone. So they wanted to send them home, but Jesus didn't want to, and he wasn't worried at all. He took a small boy's lunch, a few loaves of bread and two fish, and he thanked God for it. Then he started to break the bread and the fish, and then he asked the disciples to give it out to everyone in the crowd. Now here's the miracle. There was more than enough food for everyone. All the people ate, and they even had leftovers. How did that happen? It happened because everyone shared what they had. The boy shared his small lunch and the others probably shared their snacks too. When they all gave a little bit, there was more than enough. This story teaches us that generosity isn't necessarily about having a lot. It's about being willing to share what we do have, no matter how big or small. You see, God can multiply our kindness and our generosity just like he did with the food. When we give, even if it's just a little bit, God can use it to make a big, big difference. It's true, and you can test this out with an idea. I want you to take a piece of paper and trace your hand on it. I've already done that here. I want you to go ahead and get some crayons and markers. And once you've traced your hand, I want you to write on each finger or draw something. On my hand, I wrote the things that I could share. I could share my toys. Let me put it this way. I could share my toys, my snacks, my kind words, my smiles with someone who's sad. I can share my time to help around the house. These are my ideas, but you could write your own. And when you're finished, think about how this week you can practice sharing those things with others. Every time you do, it's like you're filling up your hand with generosity. Remember when we share even the smallest things, God can use them to bless others in ways we might not even see. And just like in today's story, you have the power to make a big difference, no matter how little you think you have. So let's try it and let's pray. Dear God, thank you for showing us that when we share what we have, you can do amazing things. Help us to be generous, just like Jesus. And teach us to always be willing to give, even when we don't think we have very much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.